And we're back. Well, sorry guys about that brief unexpected hiatus. We ran into a couple of scheduling conflicts and a few other things that have been going on in life and unexpectedly had to take a couple of weeks off. But don't think that that'll be happening again. Think that I have all the issues ironed out at this point. So I hope that everybody has been enjoying their March thus far. This week we have Lisa on and Lisa and I discuss one of our most favorite things to do, responsible gambling. So I think that you'll enjoy this. If you are a gambler, you can relate. If you're not a gambler, this might change your mind about it. But either way, there's a lot of laughs to be had and we hope that you enjoy it. And I guess I'll leave you with Good luck tonight, and may the odds be ever in your favor. Here we go. Heard like bing, 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 bing. <laughs> There's nothing better than walking into a casino. Oh, it's just ugh. Like, my heart starts beating faster. Mm-hmm. But you know what? I was even, I feel like I don't want people to think that, like, we have this, like, crazy addiction. We have a problem? I don't think we have a problem. Neither do I. And I can't. There's no casinos in Virginia. Yeah. Apparently, there's one pretty close where I live now. So, that's going oh, to happen. I, oh, that reminds me. I have a $50 chip to you, um, the Hollywood one. Oh. Columbus. Yeah. So, I was going to mail that out to you. And I mail it to me, and I'll take it and play it on whatever you want me to play it on. Yeah. I told my mom earlier today that our topic was our love of responsibly gambling. Because okay, I didn't yeah, want her to good. think that we were non responsible <laughs> about the way we gamble. Only if I drink too much and then start going to the ATM, <laughs> which happens rarely, but it has happened before. Yeah. But it very, very, very rarely. Yeah, it's happened to me too. How should we start off by. All right, I guess if we go over our, talk about our favorite games, and then maybe why they're our favorite games. Okay. Yeah. And then we can get a little bit further into it. But, so my normal go-to game, which you know, is Blackjack. Blackjack, yes. And I like it because it's a group game. Mm-hmm. Many people don't understand that it's a group game, but you, ha- you have the camaraderie of the table around you. Mm-hmm. Everybody is playing against the dealer. Now, if you don't know how to play blackjack and you sit down at the table, just ask them what the book says all the time. Yep. And there's so many people go and they think that their goal is to get to 21, and it is. However, there's some stipulations with that. Mm-hmm. But I think that overall, it's my favorite because it's easy enough to play. You could always say, what does the book say? And it's a team game really brings people together. I agree. And I think that when I play blackjack, what I realize is no one wants to see you lose. Everyone wants to see you win, so they'll help you. Even the dealer. Yeah. If you don't really know what you're doing, I actually, so I kind of knew, like, the objective of blackjack, knew how to play. The first time I went to Vegas um, for a work conference, during the day, a colleague of mine and and myself, we sat down at a $5 table because it was the middle Mm -hmm. of the day. And the dealer just Ooh, really, that's the best time to really learn. Tip corner. Yep. That could be tip corner, which we'll get into. Oh, I'm yeah, yeah. a proponent of daytime gambling. I am, I am actually against nighttime gambling mm-hmm. because I think a lot of times that's the worst time to play. Yeah. But, yeah, no, that's a great way to learn. Daytime, yeah, we'll get into the tips. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. I like to do everything during the daytime because the nighttime is for sleeping. <laughs> Exactly. Even this, we're recording this at seven forty-four yeah. p.m. and I'm like, we are really like, winding <laughs> now. So, yes. Oh, okay. Sounds so mellow on this podcast. So, um, so you love blackjack, but how did you like? How did you find your love for gambling? Though, so, like, how did you like develop? Well, I think it all started with my father. Okay. And you know, one of my father's favorite sayings is it's not when whether you win or lose it's how you play the game Mm -hmm. and he's always referring to scratch off tickets or some form of gambling when he's saying that not like a team sport or anything i couldn't agree more though and when i was little and by little i mean probably like four or five like starting at that age he would take me to uh, the deli 
and get me scratch off tickets. So it mm-hmm. started at a pretty young age. I started with my scratch off tickets. Mm-hmm. And it was just an easy way for me to make money because, I mean, I wasn't putting the money down, but if I won, I won. Yeah. And it was fun to win. It's always fun to win. Everyone loves winning. That's the yeah. thrill of it. That's really what gambling is. It's just, it's, you get the, the thrill of the chance to win. That's what mm-hmm. makes it fun. It's no fun if you're worried about losing. So if you're yes. worried about losing, you shouldn't gamble. But if you exactly. love the thrill of the possibility of winning mm-hmm. and you're responsible about it, then go for it. Right. Okay. Like when you're gambling, you have to go in like that money is already spent. Like you're buying a ticket to something mm-hmm. is the best way I can say. Like, so say you're going into the casino and you're buying a ticket to have this button and your ticket that you decide you you pick your price. So you can pick mm-hmm. $20, you can pick $50. Like a lot of times I pick like $100, $200, whatever. Yeah. And that's how much I know that I'm going to play and that's how much I go in with. But, and then you just have to stop there. But you just have to know that that money is most likely going to be gone. And you hope that it's not, but you just have to go in with the mindset that you're going to not walk out with that money. Exactly. You and that's be, how you make it enjoyable. you got to be okay with losing what you brought in or don't do it. Right. Right. Well, where did your love of gambling start? Again, with my parents. Um, <laughs> same. So my parents have always played the lottery, you know, a few bucks a week, get a ticket, check it. And um, they also love scratchers. And I think mm-hmm. I, my love for scratchers, and I love to call them scratchers because I think that sounds <laughs> awesome. Um, that's my, probably my favorite form of gambling is it, it are the scratch off tickets. So mm-hmm. they, um, you know, I graduated up to the the high the high price tickets. So I usually play. Um, I'd say usually on Fridays I stop and get maybe one or two twenty dollar tickets. Whoa, high roller! No, I know, I know, people. But hey, I work hard for my money, and <laughs> I respond. I responsibly gamble with it. Um, but <laughs> not every Friday. But like, you know, on a payday. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, I get it. So, or if I have, so the thing, the problem I have is if I have cash in my wallet, that's cash for spending. Like, cash mm-hmm. to me is, you can do whatever you want with this. Me too. You like, pay your not... bills with your bank account, you spend right. money with the cash. So, I feel the same way when people try and tell me, like, well, if you only carry around cash and then you just spend that money, I'm like, no, because then I buy everything. And yeah. it, to me, it's just like free money. Like, I could take it out of the ATM and have cash, but at that point, I'm like, it's free. It's, yep. It doesn't <laughs> no. belong to anything. Exactly. I was the same way. So, I live in Ohio, play the Ohio lottery, and I'll, I'll buy like a Mega Millions ticket. Um, if it's getting up there, if it's getting up there, or just if I'm like, all right, if I'm getting tickets, whatever, I'll get one. Um, mm-hmm. but I really, I love to get the scratch off tickets, and my favorite ones are cash word, which is is a cro- it's a crossword puzzle. So at mm-hmm. the bottom, you scratch off letters, and then you go to the top and you like scratch off that letter in the top. And if you create words with what you're, you know, you get like twenty letters mm-hmm. or something, and if you're able to. Cr- great words then you win money so what i really like about them is that i miss a lot of times i'll do the and i did this tonight because i got one to get myself in the mood to talk about lottery and everything so i um i scratched one off and sometimes i'll miss a letter here and there at the bottom of the ticket there is a barcode and i have the ohio lottery app on my phone and i scan the Mm -hmm. barcode i didn't think i won and i won 20 bucks so what a big surprise it was a ten dollar ticket though it's good to always check. Yeah, so it was a $10 ticket, and I won $20. So the story of this $10 ticket, though, it started uh, last week. I was at my parents' house. I gave My mom was going to the run to the gas station for something. I gave her a $20 bill and said, buy me two, two $10 cash words. Mm-hmm. She brought those back. One was a dud. Dud in the Iker household is a non-winning ticket. We call them dud. What does my dad call it? My da- Oh, my dad calls it a mush. Oh, ooh, I like that. <laughs> Like it. He's like he mushed. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, so I scratch one dud, scratch the second one, twenty dollars. So I I bought two more tickets with that the next day, and my mom and I were on errands. The next day, scratch those one dud, one ten dollar ticket. I was driving from there to go to dinner with some friends in Cincinnati, and I stopped at the gas station to get gas, cashed it in, got another one. Scratched at my friend's house, won $10 on that one. Mm-hmm. And then finally this week, 
deep into my purse. I cashed it in today, and then I won twenty dollars on that one. So I'm back at my original investment. So I can mm-hmm. cash it out, get my twenty dollars, and say, "Hey, I had a good time." But will I do that? Absolutely but, not. No. I'm gonna ride. Why I'm gonna would get, you? <laughs> I'm gonna get two more tickets at some point. <laughs> so it's all about having fun, though. So right, it's fun right. I agree. Um, and then, so remember the time when it comes to, like the lottery, and there were the. I guess it was one of the times where the, the one of the first times when the lottery was getting really high and we decided to like create the pool and then drive to all gas stations in weird areas because yes. that's where the winners would come from. Mm-hmm. So we took like hours out of the day, out of the work day. <laughs> Our boss was fine with it. <laughs> Just drove around to gas stations yeah. in weird areas. We we're like, that one's a little bit sketchier. So how about oh, we try yeah, that the one? Sketchier the better. Sketchy or the best. You know where I really, the majority of the time where I buy my lottery tickets, where the grocery store kiosks, the ones that you press. Yeah, the me button, too. Those are my favorite. Me too. Are the ones by you accepting debit cards now or credit cards? They are, but I haven't started doing that yet because I feel like that's a slippery slope. But I agree. I agree. And I forgot that they even do that. So mm-hmm. I will be at the grocery store and be like, oh, I got to get out cash and get mm-hmm. out cash. And then I walk over there. I'm like, they are like, we don't really even need cash. Like, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. So aside from the lottery, so in the more in the establishments, we talked a little bit about blackjack, which yeah. I know you enjoy as well. Yeah. I do also enjoy craps. Mm-hmm. The problem with craps is I always forget how to play. <laughs> so as evidence, bit- we tried it. Last summer and failed miserably. Yeah. And so I had the first experience where I went in the middle of the day and walked out with $1,700, which is one of the That's best amazing days ever. Mm-hmm. It was like a job. Like we were there for the, at that table for like four hours or mm-hmm. something. And then I wanted to go back and play just because it was so much fun. Because once again, it was like community sort of thing. And I like that sort of. I don't know. Yeah, like, I like how when someone wins, everyone wins. Right, right, exactly. That's what craps is. Mm-hmm. I yeah. honestly forget. I've played it multiple times. You and I played it for a while. I know. It's so hard to remember. I could not explain at this moment anything about craps. <laughs> I just, there's dice in a hook. I know that I normally put the money, I think you put it on the pass line to begin with. And then once I start building up money, then I'll start making individual bets. I think that that's normally what I do. But I like to, once again, go during the day. This way I don't make a fool out of myself. Yeah. And it's not like I'm, like, one of those, like, side pieces that just walks up to, like, the old rich guy. Yeah. That like, gives me money to play. Which, I mean. I'm not opposed yeah. to that. <laughs> I'm not opposed to it either. And I don't think that Kevin's opposed to having me do that either. <laughs> <laughs> um, what other, so do you like any other casino games? I love roulette. Oh, yeah. Roulette yeah. is fun. Roulette. Yeah. One, I actually have a fun story about roulette. So, Oh, let's hear it. Um, so roulette, I found my love um, of roulette through my friend Melanie, who was one of my old roommates. And um, Melanie and I went on a vacation. It was a like a President's Club trip for the company we worked for. Melanie mm-hmm. was in the President's Club. I was not. She was really good at her job. <laughs> I was not. But I was a roommate and her friend, and she invited me to go with her. And so we went to, I think this trip was um, Dominican Republic, and there was a casino there. So we're so excited, and we get to the casino, and it's, like, the size of, like, my bedroom, mm-hmm. my apartment. What, what resort were you at at the Dominican Republic? I wanted to I had the secrets. Same, I want to say secrets. I was, okay, so I went to Dreams, and it was, like, this tiny little, it was, like, I could swear that it was as big as my dining room that I'm in right now. Like, yeah. very small casino. Like, there were, like, maybe ten chairs at all the tables. Yes, and we thought we had to, like, cash out our money, fake Dominican money, and they're like, no, just use your American dollars. It's oh, yeah, because they like American yes. dollars better. So, like, half the people, so those vacations are actually really fun. I worked for a very fun company. It was, we had a great time. So everyone on this trip was just having a blast. And there's a ton of us around the table. And there was one guy, I remember his name was Adam, and he was calling out the the numbers on. 